Hey, welcome. This video is going to cover your six week post op visit after knee replacement surgery. And if you've made it this far, six weeks after surgery, congratulations, right? You've been through the worst of the worst. Now, you may not be fully recovered yet, of course, but you've gone through the worst of it. Hopefully, you're already seeing a little light at the end of the tunnel, seeing the fruits of your labor. We're going to discuss in this video what to expect at this stage six weeks from surgery and what to expect maybe in the weeks and months to come. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. I'm Dr. Dan Tomaszewski, orthopedic surgeon at the Door Orthopedic Center at Door County Medical Center. And again, today we're going to discuss your six week post-op visit after knee replacement surgery. And I like to start with what your knee should look like at this stage. If you look down, look at your knee, maybe compare it to the non-operative knee, you're going to notice a few things about it. Number one, that bruising that you had immediately after surgery, that should largely be gone. That should be better at this stage. But it still should be considerably swollen. Your body is still recovering at this point. It should be warm to the touch. Your wound should be healed, but it should be kind of a red or reddish purple. That line where the incision is, that should be red or reddish purple. And all of those things, the swelling, the warmth, that coloration of your knee, all those are signs of inflammation. Your body is still trying to heal the surgery. You're sending extra blood flow there. It's kind of an overtime right now, sending a lot of energy to your knee to get you recovered, to get you healed. And so those are all outward signs that your body is still recovering. Now, at some point in the future, maybe months from now, you're going to look down and you're going to see that that scar is flesh tone. And when it is, you'll feel your knee and say, Hey, wait a minute. It's not warm anymore. And maybe it's not swollen like it was before, but that's a long time from now. That whole process of getting the icing on the cake to be as recovered as you'll ever be, that could be many months, but we're not waiting for that. You know, we're still working hard. We're still recovering. We're still enjoying our knee. We're starting to really push ourselves to enjoy the things that we wanted to enjoy. The reasons why we did the knee replacement to begin with. And so take heart. It's going to continue to get better. You're not fully recovered, but you're getting there. Now, given that inflammation in your knee, that swelling and warmth and redness, it should still hurt some. That's normal. It's just like any sprained ankle or broken bone or jammed finger. When it's swollen and warm and inflamed, it still can hurt. That's okay. But you're well beyond needing any narcotic pain medications. You might need some over the counter medications here and there. And at this stage, many people, if you're going to be done with taking blood thinners, can start using anti-inflammatory medications again, like ibuprofen or naproxen. Again, talk to your doctor, talk to me about that before we go forward with that. But most folks can start using those and those can be really helpful at this stage because your knee is inflamed and you want to help kind of temper that a little bit. So it's not quite as sore for you. Now, in addition to the pain that you're experiencing because of this inflammation, your knee still feels stiff. It doesn't feel fully normal. It still feels tight, particularly when you're straightening your knee fully and when you're really bending it back. Most folks at this stage can't quite bend it as well as their non-operative knee, but they're getting there. They're getting close and you should be too. Now, in terms of working on that, most people at this stage have either just completed physical therapy or are about to complete physical therapy, but that doesn't mean we're done with home exercises. You have to continue those. And I recommend you continue your home exercises until that knee doesn't feel stiff anymore. Now being a knee replacement, it's mechanical. It's not a normal knee. It may not ever feel normal to you, but it should get to a point where it doesn't feel stiff. And so keep up your exercises until you get to that point. From a strength perspective, 
Hopefully, if you weren't using a cane or a walker before surgery, you've gone to the point where we're not needing a cane anymore, particularly for short distances on predictable surfaces. Now, if it's icy or if you're in a crowd or if you're going for a long walk, you might need a cane or a walking stick to help you along. That's okay. Don't be afraid to use one if you need it. But by and large, most people for short distances at this stage aren't needing a cane for day-to-day -day activities. Of course, again, if you were using a cane before surgery or a walker before surgery for balance or other issues, you'll still be using it. That's normal and that's okay. Don't sweat it. Now, the most common concerns I get from patients at this appointment are noise and night symptoms. Now, in terms of noise, knee replacements are mechanical parts. It's made of metal and plastic. And so as such, it can click and clunk. It can make all sorts of different noises, which I've heard patients describe a thousand different ways. And the most important thing to note is that mechanical symptoms, clicking, clunking, Velcro, Rice Krispies, cellophane, however you describe it, it's not concerning as long as it's not associated with sharp pain. I can make it clunk, it clunks, and it hurts every time. If that's the case, then that's something that we need to look at, but that would be extremely rare. Just having mechanical symptoms, clicking, clunking, things like that, that's part of the process of healing and that's part of the nature of a knee replacement in general. Now, some of those symptoms do get better with time. As the scar tissue sort of settles out and lengthens, it might get better with time. But don't be alarmed by that. Don't be worried that your knee is making noise so something must be wrong. That is very typical after knee replacement surgery. Now, what about these night symptoms? Unfortunately, at this stage, six weeks after surgery, many people still have a hard time sleeping. Now, whether that's because the knee just hurts at night or because it's just restless, it's hard to get a good night's sleep. You find yourself pacing around the house. Those are very common concerns at this stage, and it's normal. I know that's little consolation when you can't sleep, but it's very common. The most important thing to remember is good sleep hygiene is the best key. It's the best medicine. And what I mean by that is making sure you don't nap during the day, that you're really tired at night. Making sure you're not taking liquids in right before bed so that you're not getting up for other reasons like to go to the bathroom. Making sure you're avoiding screen time before bed so you're not alert when you go to bed, when it's time to sleep. Making sure your room is nice and dark and cool. And maybe there's some white noise that's gonna help put the cards in your favor for a good restful night's sleep. Additionally, at six weeks, many people can start taking anti-inflammatory medications. Again, like ibuprofen or naproxen that can help with inflammation and help with some of the night pain that might keep you up. Now, rest assured, this will get better but it can take time and some people really can struggle with this for a couple of months. Put all the cards in your favor, have good sleep hygiene and just ride it out. You're gonna get better. Now, at this point, six weeks after surgery, in addition to being done with the narcotic pain medications, we should be done with any blood thinners, any extra blood thinners that we gave you after surgery to try to prevent blood clot. You don't need any extra blood thinners from our standpoint. Again, if you were on blood thinners before surgery, you'll likely keep going with those at this point, but no new blood thinners. In fact, really no new medications at all. You should be back at your baseline from that standpoint, other than an occasional Tylenol or other over-the-counter pain medication. <laughs> now, moving forward, we see you again in another six weeks, three months from surgery. And that appointment is usually pretty quick. We don't get any x-rays. We're just making sure you're as recovered as we'd expect you to be at that stage. And really, we wanna be there for you if you have any questions or concerns. Of course, as always, if you have any questions or concerns between now and then, you don't have to wait. You can call us anytime. But between now and then, again, congratulations on getting this far. Please go out and enjoy your knee. Keep working hard with your physical therapy and home exercises, and we'll see you in six weeks. Thanks for watching.